I've been seeing a lot of chatter online saying that we did it first to Libya. We did not do anything to Libya. We are great hosts. You see Nigeria, we don't do dark arts to win matches. So. No, we host you very well. We did not do it to Benin Republic that landed in New York. We did not do it to South Africa that landed in New York. We've never done it to Ghana. Then it's Libya. With all due respect to Libya. Now so we do it to. No, no. Benin Republic beat us in World Cup qualify. We didn't do it to them. They came to you. Everybody lands in New York. They decided to land in Port Harcourt. They were cutting costs or whatever it was. They called the NFF an hour after they took off that they were going to land in Port Harcourt. And the NFF said, no, you are supposed to land in New York. And if I see made prayer arrangements for them to land in New York after they get to Port Harcourt, you know, made, uh, you know, they contacted fan and everything, made arrangements. They did not want to pay extra cost to whoever they hired their plane from, from Libya. They were trying to cut cost. They now came to Port Harcourt. Port Harcourt, Port Harcourt that is fairly new now. It's been refurbished very well. has space seats, everything. They now sat on the floor. Started taking pictures. And some of you gullible Nigerians are falling for it. That's not, we will not fall for it. Let me give you my credentials. I travel with this team to Morocco. I travel with the team to Rwanda. I come back often for the games in New York. So I know how the thing runs. You understand? Even when they were in New York, we provided them with security. Gave them the best hotels. That is how we run. We know they do, we lock you up for 13, 15 hours in the airport. No food. Sleep on the couch. This same Libya people did it to him by 2022. I think it was in Confederation Cup. Go and check it online. And him by the way, in the airport for 24 hours. This is their way. So stop supporting nonsense. Clarify. Even if you don't trust the NFS, at least people like us that have some form of credibility, we are telling you how it runs. You understand? I was with this team in New York. You understand? I saw everything. We gave them the best hotels. We gave them correct time to train, everything. Security convoy, everything that they needed. And that's why we went to Rwanda. Rwanda gave us the same thing. That's the standard procedure. That's the standard practice. Let the game be decided on the pitch and not by some wickedness. So stop this nonsense. Stop spreading what we did first. We did not do anything first. Now they do it ourselves and we try to help them to remedy their own situation. Get your first right, please.